Hello everybody, Teresaurus here. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Just had a lovely lunch. Um, I had some meatloaf that the wife made and some yogurt and stuff. So that was good. And we're back in Lord of the Rings Online. Always great. And it's July 24th, which means ding ding ding. Not only was there an update, I'm pretty sure either today or yesterday, but also over here we have a quest. It's the Summer Festival! Sweet! Um, I'm not sure... Um... Hmm... Do we want to do that? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? We're going to travel to the party tree and take some time today and do some summer festival goodness and see what's going on. I love the festivals in Lord of the Rings Online. Very, very fun. Uh, very interactive. There's like races on horses over obstacle courses and stuff. Um, I've won a race or two doing that before actually. Um, and just a whole bunch of really fun stuff going on here. Now there is also probably going to be a lot of characters on screen so it'll be a good test to see how our frame rate holds up. But uh, we have one token now. Uh, deed bestowed. Sights of the Shia. Interesting. Now let's open up our Hobbit silver thingy. And uh, see what we got. We have a Tome of Defense. Sweet. Probably just sell that. I never use those tomes. Here's a level 40. Look at how awesome this chick looks, right? We'll get there someday, guys. Someday. Right now, let's talk to Ned Longbottom. To the fishing hole. Talk to Netty Grub in Bywater. Oh. Fishing. Fishing in this game is quite fun. To the keg races. Uh, that's all the way up in Dwarf Land, so I don't think we're going to go there. Uh, uh, might be the oddest thing I've ever... Certainly worth a visit. Uh, Alright. Fair enough. But for now, let's go over here to Melilot Hayward. Hello, Melilot. Oh my... She's lost all of the food. Yeah, okay, we can do that. We can do that for her. What else can we do? You, in-league member. Drink beers. Okay, come here. Come on. Come on. Drink the beer. Drink it. Drink it. Chug. Chug that beer. Chug it. Okay. Okay. Got that one. Got that one. Come on. Did it? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So uh, we drank some beers and uh, finished that quest. In league invitation. What? And the plow and stars in. What? No. I didn't want to do that. Let me, um. Oh, I can't cancel it? Whatever. 
I don't want to travel all over just drinking beer, so let's talk to... Uh, who are you? Foxglove Tunnelly. Find all items. Yeah, sure. And then there's Ned over here. And that looks like it. Alright, so then let's go up here. And uh, let's find some porridge. Where is it at? Is it up here? Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Lobelia. Sackville Baggins. Oh, here it is. I see it. It's on top of a rock. Now, this is Flux, Foxglove's book. Very well. Not that it matters much. Um. My... My arrows aren't pointing me anywhere. Oh, what's this? Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's a parasol. Okay. Hey, here's the gaffer. It's old gaffer Gamji. He's a respected gardener. Ah, uh, those are hobbit quests. We don't actually want to do those. We just want to do festival stuff. We can check out the Shire later. The Shire is great fun if you kind of just want to explore and see how the game goes without really doing any um, combat. Because there's very little combat in uh, Shire questing. There's a lot of like delivering mail and talking to this person, that person, and the other person. Stuff like that, you know? There's a teapot. Um... What else do we got? I don't think we found anything over here yet. Aha! And I was right, there is something over here. It's her wine. Got him! Miss Foxglove! I have all your items! Finish. What? Plus one summer festival token. Now you guys might be wondering, like, what's with all these summer festival tokens? Well, this is not where we do it. Quartermaster, I think this is where we do it. Yeah? Yeah, see, look. If we get 12 of them, then we can get Syllabal. It's a rare fish. Or we can get a silver haddock. Or a golden redfish. Or a starry flounder. Um, I'm not sure why we want these. I feel like you could probably trade these in to be like wall mounts. Because player housing is a huge thing in uh, Lord of the Rings Online. And so that's probably what's going on there. But, um, yeah, that would be my guess. So let's, um, let me see here, to the fishing hole. Yeah, we want to do that. Do we want to do this? Get some cider? No, nah, probably not. So we'll cancel that. And um, I feel like this is going to take too long. So we'll go ahead and cancel this too. We can't cancel this, but the time is about to run out. So whatever. Um, but we can do the fishing hole. So let's click this thing. Balance zero. It costs one. Oh, I see. You can like fast travel around with these mithril coins. Not sure how much I like that, actually. Um, feels a bit cheaty. Um, almost like a, kind of like a pay to fast forward kind of thing. This guy is a hunter who is searching for, uh, no, he's fast traveling because there's a camp right here. So hunters have all these skills where they can like um, track things down and target them from long distances by looking at the tracks or they can do um, quick pathing where basically because they're a hunter they've memorized like the quickest way out of there and it's a teleportation thing to different campsites around the place and stuff like that it's quite interesting really it's very very fun uh, this is a farm right now these guys are vegetable farming and here's a pipeweed plot right here it's all very fun. Farming is actually quite an interesting uh, 
it's quite an interesting uh, craft to do in Lord of the Rings because you can plant like a whole plots across these fields and then you have to harvest them in time before the plot disappears and stuff. It's quite fun. Time expired. I don't care. And then uh, fishing is supposed to be quite fun in uh, Lord of the Rings Online as well. I never got into it too much myself, though I probably will on this character. Um, it's probably a bit uh, off-camera kind of stuff. Hello there! The basics of fishing. So basically it just tells you how to fish and, and all that all that jazz. Um, might as well pop this. How long does it last? An hour? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just... Go ahead and do that. I didn't realize we had so much stuff with us. Oh. Um, best not open any of those. Right, maybe hobby master? Train. There we go. So now we have a fishing pole. We'll just go ahead and pop that up there. Fishing supplier. Oh, good. We can sell stuff. Okay, so now I'll show you guys how the uh, selling aspect works. So basically... You have all your stuff here, tells you what it's worth, yada yada, but this is everything in your inventory. You might want to keep some of this, like these. They're used in forestry to uh, give you stuff. Um, leathers, and then you turn it into armor, that kind of stuff. For Say you wanted to collect these and just make a ton of money at once, whatever it was. Um, like my basic fishing rod, I want to keep this. So then... I click that and now it's locked. So I can't sell that if I click sell all. And that's pretty much all I want. So now if I click sell all, it sells all 29 items. Um, depending on how many you're selling, you might not be able to buy back all of them. That's why it gives you the warning. Like if I wanted to keep these gray dyes, I might not be able to buy them back if I had sold too much stuff. But yeah, now my basic fishing rod, because I locked it, is not sold and we have made a ton of money yeah so that's pretty much it I think we'll go ahead and um, we will fish once active skills where's fishing at I forget how to fish well first let's click this and equip it and um, K will open up your skills. Hmm. It's not a fellowship or a mount thing. Well, maybe I ought to read the basics of fishing, huh? How to fish. Oh, that's right. It's under a whole nother thing. So you got to do this, and then you got to click hobby. And then you can take this and drag this down here. There we go. Now I can click this. And there's my little hoochie jigget. Then I think. When it bobs, I click this again. So we'll wait for it. There. Click. You can actually see the fish attached, which is awesome. And it's all in there. Is that not cool? And I caught a rud. Once called the golden fish of the lake. Uh, has a yellow underside and red tipped fins. So that's, that's pretty much it for the fishing. But... How cool is that? It's fairly realistic, considering what we're talking about here. It's, it's MMO fishing. So, we are going to do this. Because we teleported out here to check out the festival. I kind of showed you guys that. Now we're going to go and get back to playing the real game. And uh, doing all that stuff. There's Gandalf. Hi, Gandalf! 
We love you. So first off, let's buff ourselves, get our on guard going. We already have our Tome of Defense, which is pretty sweet. But, um, yeah, what do we got here? We have Breland, Finding Reason. Search for Bali's thing. Um, you know, I just really don't want to do this quest line with you guys. Um, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It is a great quest line. Uh, it's just... Ah, it takes so long. There we go. Let's go talk to Roderick Carver. Uh, Roderick Carver is the guy in Comb who should let us get a crafting skill, which is great. I always recommend getting that as early as possible. Um, now I have other characters who with other crafting skills, so we will have to choose what our crafting skill is going to be based off of what the other characters have. Now I don't quite remember it all, so I'll probably have to cut this video and come back to you guys once we get inside of there, but for now let's just enjoy the beautiful scenery while I take a drink of water. Ah, refreshing. Now, um, I don't know how long I'm going to let this episode run, uh, but I basically feel like playing this a lot. So what I'm probably going to do is um, put this into multiple parts. Because I wouldn't be surprised if I record for, you know, like an hour, two hours, Maybe even three. Probably not three. I don't have enough time for that today. Um, but I am faced with some extra time for recording right now. I got quite a bit done today, and it's only Wednesday. I usually do all my recording on uh, Thursdays. But yeah, if it's an hour and a half and under, I'll go ahead and just upload it. <clears throat> if it's anything more than an hour and a half, then I'll probably split it into multiple parts. <clears throat> or whatever. We'll just see what happens. You guys don't need to know about the behind the scenes stuff. Breaking the fourth wall or whatever. Third wall? Third wall, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, you guys don't need to know about that stuff. Basically, as long as I give you the video, you it should be good, right? Yeah. But, um, yeah. So let's see here. What can we talk about? Well, still looking for a new job. Uh, no luck there. I actually have two decent future job opportunities, but they're going to be future jobs, you know? Oh, excuse me. I don't know why I had to yawn like that. But uh, one's in construction. So, you know, pretty physical, not necessarily the greatest, but meh. You know, you do what you got to do. And then the other one is actually working for a technology company. But the problem is I don't have any of the adequate training for it. So it would be one of those things where, like, those guys would either train me for free and that would be my payment basically or they would tell me what I need to learn and then I could learn that and they might have a job for me once I've learned all that stuff so either way pretty cool um, I'm fairly excited about the technical one um, I like construction it's just um, a bit I wouldn't say too physical so much as um, it's just dirtier work. It's rougher on your body. And I don't want to be one of those old guys who's all like hunched over and, I can't walk. 
because I did construction for 30 years. You know, that kind of stuff. I don't want to be that guy. And the only reason I'm really worried about that now is because I'm already kind of getting there. I uh, ran too much in high school, basically. And apparently I had flat feet. And I did not realize that I had the flat foot issue. And so, like, uh, my flat foot issue basically, like, twists the bottom half of my legs a little bit so that my knees are actually kind of, like, under tension all the time. And so eventually all that running actually caused quite a bit of uh, pain. And now it's to the point where it's noticeable even if I'm not running. So I'll just be, like, sitting around and my knees will hurt for no reason. Which sucks. And so, like, they're structurally sound. Just not necessarily pain-free. Which is sad when you're 20 years old. You shouldn't have, like, aches and pains in your joints just yet. But that's life. Do what you gotta do what you gotta do, you know, you gotta do. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I'm not as excited about the construction one. But really, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, this is, this is different. Hmm. Interesting. This is a new um, UI for fast traveling. It's not that different, but it's a little different. Let's talk to this lady. Okay, now we need to talk to Lisbeth Honeymead. I believe Miss Lisbeth, not Elizabeth, not Lisbeth, but Lisbeth, is in here. Yes, there she is. Combe used to be a nice town, apparently. Oh my, look here, a real life hero. It's not often we get such respectable folk through here. My, how my tongue runs on. Toradan told, Toradan told me to send you upstairs to his room once you arrived. He said you shouldn't delay none. Okay. Some ruffians out here. <laughs> Dumb ruffians. Ruffins? <laughs> Ruffins. That's their new name. They're Ruffins. Ruffians. So let's go in here and let's talk to Toradan. Hello, Toradan. The hero of Ar Archit, I suppose. I am pleased to finally meet you. I'm sorry for the cryptic summons, but I dared not betray my whereabouts to just anyone. There is much we need to discuss. Will you hear me? Yeah, sure. Uh, Kindred and I were driven from the bounds of the Shire by the Nazgul of Mordor. They pursued us eastward and slew many of us. Oh, that's sad. It was my goal to join Amdir, but I have heard rumor of his fate in Archit. They say he was stabbed by a Morgul blade and led off by some evil men. Yeah. Uh, a few left with the, now with the power over such wounds. Okay, so we need to find Amdir quickly or he will succumb to the wound, just like Frodo. Somewhere in the Chetwood. We must find a way to enter their lair and free him. Speak with Constable Underhill. He may be of help. You can usually find him outside near the Comb and Wattle. So these are the Underhill families. Um that you don't really hear about in the movie. Um, so in the book series, when Frodo and uh, the other hobbits make it into Bree, he uses the name Underhill and all that, because uh, Gandalf told him to. But there are hobbits who live in Bree with the last name Underhill, and they accepted him as a long-lost cousin from the Shire because they would refuse to believe that they had the same last name and not be related, basically. And so this guy is not Frodo. He is simply of the Underhill family. Just throwing that out there. Um, 
The hero of our tit on our side. There's still a black wool agent in town. Yeah. I see. All right. So there are black wool agents inside of Comb. Threatening the town's folk and all that. Not good. Not good at all. And I think that uh, the wife is home. So I think we're going to cut it here for now. We will probably be back later. But I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Lord of the Rings video so far. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> we're back. And um, whilst for you guys it's only been a little while, I have to apologize. Because it has actually been um, a long time for me. It is actually the next day now which is why we have this a silver hobbit present so we might as well check into that right and we got a tome of defense isn't that what we got last time i'm pretty sure we got that last yeah we got that last time whatever doesn't even matter luckily i kind of remember what we were doing we were coming up here to talk to this guy because we want to get a crafting skill and I just remembered, I forgot to check which crafting skill I need. Um, so, I guess I will be right back. Alrighty, guys. We're back, and I checked out our other skills. So, we need to talk to, I believe, the Mistress of Apprentices over here. We already have an armor, so we have Metalsmith. And we have prospecting and we have tailoring. We also have an explorer, which is tailor, forester, prospector. So what we don't have, it was we don't have weaponsmith. We don't have woodworker. Both of those are good because one of my characters is an archer. So woodworker, bows, weaponsmith, blades, obviously very good. We have armor covered on these two guys. <clears throat> Is there anything else that we would want? Scholar is like potions and stuff. Jeweler is obviously jeweler. Um, Yeoman is kind of a fun one if you're going to be by yourself. Because the food and stuff is really helpful for buffs and stuff like that. But I think we're going to go armsman. We are Turiosaurus the armsman. So now she's going to give us some quests that... Um, basically introduce you to uh, the crafting thing and then this guy gives us the crate and this guy gives us this crate and you give us weapon smithy crate very good so now we just need to open these it'll take us a second Okay, I really just want to decline this. There we go. Got that. Goodness. Okay, so now we also have all this new stuff. Um, we can close these ones. We need a bronze blade. So let's equip our inferior hammer. Go into weaponsmith and make a bronze blade. Make. There we go. We're smacking that hammer. And then he wants us to make a bronze sword. So we need melee weapons, bronze sword, make. There we go. There's that one done. Bob Birchcutter. Our quest is done with him. So now we need uh, to equip the pick, I believe. And we need to go into prospecting and make one of each of these <clears throat> oh excuse me my voice hasn't quite warmed up yet I uh, slept in rather late and um, yeah basically just kinda of started talking now even though it's like two o'clock you know how it goes could not sleep last night for the life of me. 
Uh, so a little hint with this one, if you want a little extra experience right off the bat and you don't want to carry these two things, uh, you don't want to make bronze right away because then you can't finish the quest, but once you're done, turn it into bronze, consolidates the two into one, and you get that extra experience right off the bat. So now we're doing woodworking. We need to create a Rowan bow staff. Uh, Rowan being the type of wood, basically. And then I believe they want us to make a bow. Yeah. So we'll make this bow. Bada bing, bada boom. Almost there. All right. So we've finished the introduction quests, which is good. So now, since we, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, since we have the money, we may as well go into sell here. Um, I don't want that. Keep that. Don't care about my red. Don't care about that. Very good. Um, sell all of this. And we want to buy um, filter tools. Here we go. We want to buy prospecting tools, smithing hammer, and woodworking tools. Very good. Now we want to go into sell and lock these right away. These upgraded ones can be sold. These ones, the inferior ones, um, can just be destroyed. Uh, so right, I'm probably going to want the pick on the most. Pop that there. Take our tracking skill for mines. Pop that there. That basically makes nodes appear on the mini-map. Very standard MMO stuff there. And now we head out. We have our crafting skill. We have the ability to make fine melee weapons as well as wooden melee and ranged weapons. And we can gather the ore used to make your standard weapons. Though we must buy wood in order to make this. Luckily, we have a forester, therefore the wood can be gathered for us. We also have a higher level prospector, two of them actually. So our prospecting skill is kind of secondary um, because we can get whatever we want for this as well, doing that. And, you know, we'll, we'll be set. We will be set as far as it goes for all that stuff. But I think that for now, we don't want to focus on this too much. Uh, title awarded, right, Apprentice of Blades, because I'm a Bladesman, and Armsman Tier 1. Um, that's what? It's not hobbies. It would be... Race and Social, Epic, Reputation... No, maybe Rovanian? No, because that's area. Huh. Instances. Area door. I don't remember how to get to that one. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's talk to Constable Wren. Uh, leading Archit fled into the Chetwood. Hmm. There we go. Reconnecting tides. Tides. Uh. uh oh, he joined up with the Blackwolds. Hmm. Okay. Sad story, but whatever. I think what we want to do for now is probably come down here. Uh, and we're going to go in debris. Yeah, we'll go in debris. Uh, we'll loot all that. But uh, we're going to get um, into our bank. And we're going to start putting some stuff away so that we're not carrying all this junk with us. As nice as it is, I don't necessarily need that junk, you know? So we'll destroy that. What's this? Armsman guide? I don't need that. 
I know how to craft in this game. But yeah, then we have these gift boxes, boosts, and fireworks. We don't really need that. Um, this one is good to keep with you. Um, just because it kind of levels up as you do. So like there's level 5, and then there's like level 10, and and like 13, and 20, and weird stuff. It, it's very sporadic, I, I think, if I remember right. But it gives you a lot of nice boosts that can help you out later on, which is good. These boosts are probably good to have as well. Um, oh, hold on. Did I miss it? No, it's over this hill, right? Yeah, over here. <laughs> I got lost for a second. Brown bear over there. It is the morning right now, which is always nice. Some piglets on the farm. Some hobbit houses, because this is Bree and hobbits do live here. But I think it's time for us to get into here. Enter into Bree. Get some stuff done. Uh, stolen family heirlooms? Yeah, that's worth it. Usually by the time I come into here, I'm like way higher level than that guy's offering quest, and so it's just not worth it for me. But now we are a lower level and going in and... Actually, the entrance to Bree looks a bit different than I remember. But that matters not. Let me see here. We might be able to... Market Square Posted Bill. Ah, I think it's over here. Yeah. Task Bulletin Board. Here we go. So these are the task boards. You collect this stuff, uh, that red text there, maybe turned in for tasks. Tasks, sorry. Um, you collect enough of them, you click this if you're the proper level for that bulletin board, it'll give you one. You accept, you talk to this guy, and you turn them in. Extra experience, extra reputation, stuff like that. It's just good all around definitely good all around so what we're looking for is the bank is that the bank or is that the bank no that's auctioneers by the looks of things or mailboxes maybe mailboxes I forget what the bank looks like it's not good right there is all the trainers now, the bank used to be down here But things look different. There's there's the auctioneer sign. Relic masters mailboxes. I think that might be a bank up here. Very odd. If it is. Um The world is changing. Lolly is market. That's entirely new. I don't even know what's in there. Die vendor and a mailbox, huh? Town crier tasks. Lalia's market. I want to go in here. I've never been in Lalia's market before. And I want to see what's up with this new building. And why is it so fancy? Why is it loading so slowly? Come on. Come on. Do it. <sighs> there we go. Oh my, look at this. Assassin's accessories. Gatherer's accessories. Grand accessory. What the heck? Mailbox. Wow, look at you. It's a war horse. It's all kinds of war horses. Vault Keeper. See, so there is a bank in here. Very odd. Very, very odd. Um, but yeah, we don't have riding skill yet, so we'll drop all of our horses in there. We'll probably be buying that about level 15 or so. We have the money for it now, but yeah. I feel like you should earn your way to riding skills. 
Uh, we don't need fireworks. We'll keep the boosts with us. Drop all this stuff in here. These cloaks can go in here. And um, I think that's it. Yeah. So there we go. And then I also have um, shared storage with like all these stuffs. And like copper ingots and stuff like that. So I have a way to transfer items between characters and boost up our crafting skills, which is always good. But this is a crazy market. Look at this. Pants. Heck yeah. Oh, I see. It's like... Oh, okay. So this is basically an installment for cosmetic gear. And then people are in-game more able to see what it looks like and um, probably more likely to spend their money uh, or their mithril coins and stuff on this stuff. Nice. See, because then you can get that and you can change the color of it and purchase it and all that. There's my groin. That's not what I wanted to do. But yeah. Say I wanted a Sienna chest piece. See, that actually looks really cool. And I want this really badly, but I don't have 25 Mithra coins, so I'm not going to buy it. This is actually a phenomenal addition uh, and a way for the game to promote itself making more money in a very kind of character-friendly way. You know? I like it. And all these cloaks that you can look at. That one. These outfits that you can buy pre-made. Stuff like that. This is pretty cool, I gotta say. I'm digging it. I like this. Mordequin elf set, huh? It's quite fancy. I like it. I like it a lot. This blue set is quite pretty. Lake of Twilight. Ha! Huh. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, I like that. Because before, whenever you wanted to buy that kind of stuff, you'd go into here, and you'd go into cosmetics. Right? And then you'd do, like, um, clothing. And we'll say body armor. And this is what you'd see. And it gives you a good idea of what it's going to look like, but you don't really see it in-game. And so, there was always the possibility that you'd be kind of disappointed with it. And that fixes it, at least for some stuff. I'm sure that some items are uh, what they call store exclusives. Let me see here. I think it probably shows it. Yeah, store exclusives right there. You can only buy them in the store. There's no other way to get them. Like the Hauberk of Rune... Elf Queen's dress, all sorts of stuff like that. You just can't get it otherwise. But um, aside from that, seems pretty good to me. These guys practicing their archery. How you doing, boys? You suck. That's like, what, maybe 10, 15 yards tops? And you're, you're, you're terrible. I can't say I'd do any better with a traditional bow like that, but still... Bad form. Bad form. Um, let me see here. What do we want to do? We have a multitude of quests, I believe. Yes, we have quite a few quests here. And uh, all this stuff. Do these... Uh, I wish it told you, like, what your rewards were. Like, I know it does, but reputation rewards. I don't know if if it shows that, but that's fine. We'll just wait until later. I'm trying to figure out when's the best time to use this. Hmm. It might be better to keep this item until 
we're in an entirely new zone. Because for us to get a uh, reputation with Men of Breeze, it's not going to be hard because we started here. But when we get into, like, say, the Elves of Rivendell or something, that could be much more difficult for us. Hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, we'll just wait and see what happens. I think I'll I'll put that in the bank at some point and just hold on to it. Maybe stockpile them so that I can do a really rapid reputation increase. Um, but I think... Hmm, I think we're going to get over here to the lumber camp that's over this way. And then we're probably going to call it an episode because I've got other stuff to record. And I meant to finish this episode yesterday, but I didn't. Oopsies. Um, so we'll grab this copper deposit, kind of just lumber our way over there. And, um, yeah, probably, ca probably call it there. And we'll loot this. But, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good to be in Lord of the Rings Online. I might record more of this later. Um, depending on my time constraints and how I'm feeling and all that. Let's get some combat in. Always good to get them them level ups and stuffs, you know? You know what I mean. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. But yeah, let's smack these guys. Get this going. What deeds are we working on anyways? Alert guard, use defensive strike. Okay, doing it. Renewed voice. Only 650 for that. That's not bad. Only 300 for defensive strike. That's easy money. The deeds are getting easier these days than when I first started uh, playing, which is actually really nice. Because before, they were a little ridiculous. You'd kind of level up before the deed was useful. So that sucks. Um... Okay. Black wolves are apparently super evil. Den of wolves. Okay, so there's too many wolves. They're getting aggressive. We gotta take them out. Here's Posco Burrows. We need to find Uncle Filbert. He's hiding somewhere in the woods, apparently. Wow. With our graphical setting turned down the slow and the trees not loading, the Chetwood looks dumb from a distance. That's all very thick wood, by the way, guys. Just throwing that out there. Um, at some point, I will upgrade uh, the Black Beast, which is my computer. And um, we will fix this whole frame rate issue and uh, trees loading and stuff like that. Because that's just despicable. It really is quite bad. I mean, look. Look at this. This is what you should be seeing from a distance. Ugh. Whatever, but I think I'm going to hop maybe up here. Can I get up there? I don't no, maybe, maybe. Yeah, so I'm going to hop up here, give you this lovely view of an adolescent bear right there, and uh, probably call it an episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I always have fun making these Lord of the Rings online episodes because I love this game. Um, any questions, general comments, stuff like that, please leave it down below. Likes are always appreciated. And we will see you guys next time.